positive now. Um, I'm going to just make a phone call to, uh, what's his name? The housing, of, housing officer for Charles Lucas Property Management. Uh, oh, it's quite funny, really. I just had the TV on and um, an episode of um, not going out. And um, um, Lee and his dad, we're on a uh, with the other two, and and his dad said uh, they're talking about going to the toilet because they're surrounded by the sea. And he says, he said you're you're surrounded by the world's biggest toilet. And uh, uh, Lee said, yeah. Um, speaking of which, Juliet said uh, she's seen uh, she saw a seal in the sea. There's, turning his head and bopping up and down. So I've got to look out for that because I love my wildlife. Yeah. Just want to get all this rubbish out of the way and just be done with it. Lucas Property Management, you've reached the voicemail of John Bartley, Housing Officer. I'm sorry that I'm unable to take your call at the moment. If you can please leave me a message including your name, the address it relates to and your telephone number, I will deal with it as soon as I can. Please note that my normal working hours are between 8am and 5pm Monday to Friday and any call made outside of these times will not be picked up until the next working day. If the call relates to emergency repair, please call 07 984 365 and one of my colleagues will do their best to assist you. Thank you. Please leave your message after the tone. To re-record your message, key hash at any time. Hello, John. It's Bryony speaking from room two, um, 12 Bel Belmore Road. Um, Juliet, the my lady witness friend, uh, said she spoke to you. And uh, she, but you're telling her that you're not the housing officer. But obviously you introduced yourself as a housing officer. And the person who placed me there, Robert Haig, no longer works for Rough Sleepers. And uh, Katie Dawkins, his manager, didn't want to speak to me. No one at the council wanted to speak to me. But um, Juliet said that someone called Nicola Burrows is the person to speak to. Um, but this is not really making much sense because obviously I've informed everyone, including councillor Stephen Holt. I'm live streaming all my phone calls on YouTube and I'm documenting everything, even with the local MP and um, Lorraine Blackwell from Brighton Housing Trust, because my possessions are in the room. Um, I've been too afraid to even go anywhere near the road, let alone my room. Uh, Juliet was verbally harassed in the street, as was I, by a drunk. They just came out of nowhere when I was being harassed by that protected criminal on a tag and as you know uh, the police have put me through non-stop torture even when I went to Eastbourne police desk on the 7th of October 24 hours of non-stop torture when I said that I would be returning with Juliet as a witness. Now someone called uh, Emmanuel turned up here last night out of hours duty care now none of them were interested throughout my whole year of terrorism in the in the property uh but, but i believe it's saving face due to caroline ansell office that's just my opinion and someone should be going with me to the property to check on my possessions authority from me to touch anything because they know that I have been self-funding this hotel for my safety and I'm trying to get legal help with this. It's been ongoing. As I said, 
as I said to you in my last voice message, which I live streamed, I have not given you permission or anyone else to take any instructions from my, even my partner, even from Darren. So that's, you know, uh, because there have been some underhand things going on that have put me through the last five years have been nonstop torture. Um, okay, so if you if you want to give me a call back, um, you have my number, don't you? Um, I'm live streaming all of this on YouTube, so I don't want to say it publicly. Um, but you know these the disgusting A and A contractors who I recorded abusing me, they well they weren't interested. Well, no one was interested um so yeah you've got my number you've got my number i've still got the licensee agreement uh lorraine blackwell is someone to speak to at brighton housing trust okay thank you to replay the message key one to deposit the message key two to erase message deposited thank you for calling goodbye <sighs> just get this over with because I, I just I just want to get it over with Try to get my strength back, get the old me back. I still look like a ghost. I guess it's more of the real me. Oh. I can't leave a message. I'm trying to leave a message for Lorraine Blackwell. Okay, I wonder if I can text her. It's always someone who comes on and goes off. Is it the same one who left a laughing emoji when I said my OCD is crippling me on Facebook? Laughing emoji that appeared and disappeared. Pathetic. Right, okay. Right, well, oh one three two three, oh one three two three number. See if there's an answer phone. Come on. Nice office at the HT Sussex. Sorry there's no one available to take your call at this time. Our office hours are 9 a.m. to 5 p.m. Monday to Thursday and 9 to 4.30 on Fridays. Please do leave a message and we will return your call as soon as possible. If you're calling outside of these times, you can call the Civil Legal Advice Line on 0345 345 4345. Or if you're homeless and need accommodation, please contact your local council for assistance. Either way, please do leave us a message and we will return your call. Please leave your message after the tone. When done, hang up or press the pound key. 
Hi there, this is a message for Lorraine Blackwell at Brighton Housing Trust from Bryony McCarthy. I just left a message for John Bartlett, excuse me, to say that uh, someone called Emmanuel had been out to me, um, out of hours duty. Uh, he's, a, he's an AMP, uh, proved mental health professional. Uh, I believe that was because I, I'd been on the phone to uh, caseworker David at uh, Caroline Ansel office. Um, now, uh, John Barclays is saying that uh, he's no, he said to Juliet, my witness friend, that uh, Nicola Burroughs is the person to speak to. Uh, I, I've obviously I haven't been well and, and I'm very anxious about the possessions in my room at uh, room two. Um, uh, 12 Belmore Road and uh, yeah so I'm live streaming all of my uh, voice messages conversations on YouTube as documentation of everything that's been happening etc etc um, uh, because I need I'm, I'm actually too scared to go anywhere near the road let alone the room you know Ju Juliet and I were harassed Oh, have I got to start that all over again? It just rang off. Start again. Just keep it simple. Advice office for BHT Sussex. Sorry, there's no one available to take your call at this time. Our office hours are 9 a.m. to 5 p.m. Monday to Thursday and 9 to 4.30 on Fridays. Please do leave a message and we will return your call as soon as possible. If you're calling outside of these times, you can call the Civil Legal Advice Line on 0345 345 4. Three, four, I'm going to ring them up again. Got plenty of horror stories with civil legal advice. Either way, please do leave us a message and we will return your call. Just these please phone lines. When done, hang up or press the pound key. Hi there. I just tried to leave a message and it rung off. I don't know what happened there. Uh, this is a message for Lorraine Blackwell, Brighton Housing Trust from Bryony McCarthy. I just, I'm just i live streaming all of my YouTube uh, voice conversations and messages. I'm documenting everything uh, for, for, for personal, obviously for record. Um, uh, I left a message for John Bartlett. Uh, he said to Juliet, my lady witness friend, that... Uh, Nicole Burrows is the person to speak to at Eastbourne Borough Council because he isn't the housing officer, even though Robert Haig, who placed me there, no longer works for the Rough Sleepers. Um, I'm very, very concerned about my possessions at the room. I've been self-funding a hotel for three months for my safety. Uh, Lorraine knows all of this. Um, and I had someone called Emmanuel come out to me from out of hours duty service last last night uh social worker and amp uh could she please um I, i'll try and get back to her but i just wanted to pass this on thank you very much thank you there you go well the phone lines civil legal advice have been a, a hell though i mean all these phone lines have given me non-stop hell the service providers that and the discrimination manageress Ariana, whatever her name was, it began with G. And the discrimination clerk. Oh, it's a joke. It's an absolute joke, though. The civil legal advice thing. They used to be helpful, and then they pass you to these service providers that you know. Uh, 
the housing service provider, the discrimination one, and they just, and that's why they like using these phrases. We're going around in circles. We're going around in circles. If I had a magic wand, I'd tell you where to shove it, um, because you know I'd be a millionaire for the number of times I've heard these phrases, and it's all designed to make people go completely crazy. So yeah, I just keep documenting this. Oh, thank you. You need professionals on your case. I know. Whoever you're talking to doesn't seem to listen. I, well, I know. I. It's um. It's just literally in this country, if you go to prison, you get help with the housing. That that's the criminal justice system. Oh, excuse me. Hello. Oh, okay. Thank you very much. I'm just going to come down. Thank you very much. Okay. Thanks very much. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. Bye. Sorry, that that's um different. The hotel. Um. Uh, yeah. No. I've I've just I, I've got to go now. But 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 thank you. Yes. No. I know. In this country, it's the criminal justice system. It you 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 basically go to prison. You get help with housing. Dan, that's what they tried to stitch me up with, even though the police beat me. Seriously, it is so corrupt. It, you know, uh, and you know, because I've had a sheltered upbringing, because I'm middle class, they've done everything to me, and they don't like it because I'm telling the truth, you know. But if I was some rag end who, who doesn't care what they do, who's had a criminal life, and you know. They, 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 they were tearing down. If you've seen Disney's Pinocchio, when the, the bad boys, they go to the, the bad boy island, that's what it was like. That's where my room is. That's where my stuff is. They were taking drugs. They were take, tearing the doors off the, leaving used needles outside. Um, and that's actually reminded me, the lady up the road, the nurse who took me in, I've got to ask if she'll provide an affidavit of truth but thank you very much um yes i've got to go now so sorry but thanks very much yeah